California will now be the first state to make ethnic studies a graduation requirement for high school students. Just hours ago, Governor Gavin Newsom signed AB 101 into law. The move comes after years of opposition. News 8's Shannon Handy has more on the bill and what both supporters and opponents are saying about it. Governor Gavin Newsom signed AB 101 into law Friday, ending a years-long debate over whether or not students should have to take ethnic studies. AB 101 requires high schools offer ethnic studies courses beginning in 2025 and may completing a one-semester course a graduation requirement starting in the 2029 school year. What is the rush? What we're asking is put a pause on it. Masha Merkalova is founder and executive director of Club Z, an after-school club for Jewish teenagers. I spoke with her just hours before Newsom approved the bill. She was among several Californians petitioning against it, in part because it does not mandate what curriculum teachers use. There's no oversight. A teacher who is an activist can bring anything they want in a classroom. It doesn't have to be approved. Of the three available curriculum options, she says two are racist and anti-Semitic, using terms like white supremacy and settler colonialism. Yes, racism needs to be addressed. Yes, injustices need to be addressed. However, it needs to be through accurate history, through facts, not through perspective, not through personal narratives. It's most definitely not a racist curriculum. It's Dr. Sean Arce teaches Chicano studies to both high school and college students. He's also a member of the Liberated Ethnic Studies Model Curriculum Coalition, an educational advisory group which has worked to create the courses teachers will have to choose from under AB 101. They argue ethnic studies is necessary to understand our state's history, adding there are parameters in place. We have fought. 52 years for an ethnic studies requirement for California's majority student of color population. The curricular framework is up to each district within reason. We are a discipline. We have principles. Last year, Newsom vetoed a similar bill saying the curriculum was, quote, insufficiently balanced. Revisions were made and it was adopted by the State Board of Education this past March. Following today's signing, AMHA, an anti-Semitism watchdog group, released a statement writing in part, this is a dark day for Jewish students in California and the dozens of other states that historically follow California's lead. Shannon Handy, News 8.